In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the reasons that I would not buy the Acer Swift X14 2024 model. Now, this one comes with the Intel Core Ultra 7 155H and an RTX 4070 and 32 gigs of RAM. So it has seemingly the components that you would need for the performance that you would desire. We'll get to that in just a minute. The first reason would be the aluminum material that they chose to use. It just feels really thin. And though the laptop is light, and that is somewhat advantageous to somebody who's looking for an on-the-go 14-inch device, they want it to be light, on-the-go friendly, I would rather have the device be a little bit heavier and feel thicker and more sturdy. And so that would be something right off the bat that I just wish was a better design. Now, I also think that the plastic, you know, hinge housings, the plastic bezel around the display. And this all lends to feel like a much more budgety laptop than the actual price might lead to. I mean, the retail MSRP of this laptop is $1599, and it just doesn't feel like a $1599 laptop. It feels more like an $899 or $999 or $1199 at max. And so for that, I just really would not buy this. Now, the next thing I'm looking at is going to be the maximum graphics power. The maximum graphics power is basically the maximum allowable power that is sent to the GPU for it to perform its tasks. And that is 60 watts. In comparison, the Lenovo Legion Slim 5 14 inch model has a maximum graphics power of 95 watts. In comparison, something like the Asus Republic of Gamers Zephyrus G14 has a maximum graphics power of 95 watts, and that provides a lot more performance than this 60 watts provides. Now, let's give you some you know, real-world benchmarks to prove out this idea. Let's go ahead and take a look at the 4K export out of Premiere Pro. We have a 9-minute 4K clip placed in Premiere Pro, export out at full quality 4K settings. You can see we have a 3-minute and 43-second export time. I really like to see laptops with an RTX 4070 be in the lower two minute range for the export time. Now on top of that, let's go ahead and look at 6K. This is a 6K clip placed in Premiere Pro, export out at full quality 6K settings, 38 minutes and 39 seconds. Now the Lenovo Legion Slim 5 14 inch model can do that same export in 14 minutes. And this laptop is the same price MSRP but actually even more affordable when you can find it on sale, which it's often on sale quite a bit. Now the MSI Cyborg, a laptop that retails at 1099, but I've seen it on sale right now at the recording of this video for 899, can export that same clip in 22 minutes. Something to consider. So performance is definitely lagging. This video is brought to you by Lenovo's Aura Edition laptops imagined with Intel. The Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 13 Aura Edition is their flagship device built with military grade tested materials, weighing less than one kilogram, featuring a 2.8K OLED with 100% DCI-P3, Delta E less than one color accuracy, and providing the best battery life ever from a 14 inch ThinkPad laptop. Looking for something more budget friendly without compromising any features, check out the Lenovo Yoga Slim 7i Aura Edition. It also has a 2.8K display with 100% DCI-P3, Delta E less than one color accuracy, and 14 hours of battery life while streaming video. You can check out my full reviews linked in the YouTube cards above and in the description below, or you can head on over to Lenovo.com using the links below to check out the live pricing and see which model is right for you. Now let's go ahead and take a look at 3D modeling. We see 175 points in Autodesk 3ds Max, 184 PTC Creo, 247, that's its best score in Autodesk Maya, and then 89 in SolidWorks. These are all pretty mediocre scores for an RTX 4070. Again, that maximum graphics power is really killing the performance of this device, and that is something that Acer has set in the device in order to control the thermal limitations of the device so it can run cooler. However, it's killing the performance. And so this is not a very well optimized device. Now, I will say there are a few things I really do like about this device. It has a fantastic OLED display. The OLED display can reach 394 nits of brightness at 100% sRGB, 89% Adobe RGB, and 97% DCI-P3 at a Delta E of 0.81. So thumbs up on the display. Absolutely. It's great. Now, the next thing would be Photoshop performance. Because this laptop does come with 32 gigs of RAM, we're seeing a Photoshop score of 7,003, which is plenty of performance inside of Photoshop. So for Photoshop, I'm very impressed. This would make a great photographer, digital artist, or graphic designer laptop. 
who needs a color accurate display and great performance in the Adobe Creative Suite like Adobe InDesign, Adobe Photoshop, and Adobe Illustrator. So this could be a great use case. But overall, from the build quality to the maximum graphics power limitations to the price, the video editing and 3D modeling performance, I just don't think that this is the best bang for buck device that's available on the market. As I mentioned, I would show you two devices that I really enjoy. One would be the MSI Cyborg 14. Aluminum top cover, plastic bottom cover, but you have upgradable RAM, you have great, better performance inside of creator applications, and it's a better price point. Like I said, I saw it on sale today for $899. Now this is the Lenovo Legion Slim 5 14 inch model. And this is one of the best devices in 2023 and 2024. However, they haven't continued releasing this device in 2024. So finding one can be challenging. You can either buy it, you know, you can either find one new on Lenovo's website or on Best Buy if you're lucky, or they have open box specials where you can pick up this laptop. Now it does retail at about $1599, but I see them on sale often for $1,100 to $1,200. And so it makes for a great price device. If you wanna check out the exact pricing and availability of the Acer Swift X or these other recommendations that I recommend in place of the Acer Swift X, head down in the description below and click those links. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way.